fraction of people who should get a colonoscopy actually do. If it's a hard sell for people at the recommended age of 50, it's a long shot for a younger generation. But in many cases, their life could depend on it. A lot of times I'll see patients in the office who say, I'm 45, I really don't need a colonoscopy, and I don't even know why I'm here, Dr. Menning. And I said, well, you're here because you have symptoms. Beginning at age 50, both men and women of average risk should undergo a screening to look for polyps that lead to colorectal cancer. The exception are people who fall into a high-risk category. If you have a strong family history of colon cancer, as defined by somebody who may be a parent or a first-degree relative. In addition, high-risk groups would have a history of colon polyps. They may have a history of ulcerative colitis or Crohn's colitis. Even two decades ago, it was rare to find patients in their 20s, 30s, or 40s with colorectal cancer. Now it's less surprising. The number of young to middle-aged people is steadily climbing, and studies predict that to continue. Experts believe young people should be proactive when it comes to any symptoms. Just because you have abdominal pain does not mean that you have colon cancer. But if you, if you look at all those symptoms in an aggregate, you say, is this normal for somebody who's 35 years old to have some GI bleeding? Is it normal to have this degree of abdominal pain? If we educate them, it gives them an opportunity to take control of their own health. The later cancer is picked up, the poorer the prognosis. So acting aggressive with any unusual bowel activity is the smart move. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.